Hello, everyone out in Maryland's beautiful 8th Congressional District in Montgomery, Frederick, and Carroll Counties. It's your Congressman Jamie Raskin here with my favorite time of the week, Local Heroes. And we've got an amazing local hero for you uh, this week, uh, David Key from Frederick County, uh, who is uh, embarked on a remarkable project that I'm going to let him describe to you. Uh, but first, I wanted to just introduce you uh, to David Key and uh, to ask him to say a few words about being born in Frederick County, growing up there, and having gone to the famous uh, Lincoln High School. So, David, welcome and congratulations on being our local hero for this Friday, February 26th, the last uh, week of February in 2021. So thank you very much. Uh, and it's quite an honor, uh, actually. Uh, uh, and when you when you learn learn about art, you 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 realize that the heroes are are, are not me. It's uh, the many volunteers who make make arch work. So just just that clarification. But anyway, uh, all right. I, and we should we should tell people that that arch is the African American Resources Cultural Heritage Society of Fredericksburg, if, if, uh, Frederick, Maryland. Uh, if right. Frederick, Maryland. That's <laughs> correct. Right. Right. Okay. Um, yes. Well, um, before we get into that, so let's say a word about your um about your childhood and then about going to lincoln high school in frederick county sure i i grew up um uh in a large family i have uh 10 brothers and sisters um and and uh several uh, um additional uh, uh foster brothers and sisters as well um and um i um um so I I'm a, have always been used to being around a large family, uh, and that's part of my reason for being uh, staying around Patrick. Uh, we do have some family members who moved away, but um, one of the uh, key traditions uh, that came out of my grandparents um, um, was that every Sunday when we went to church, um, and we went to church, I, I live in Frederick, uh, Urbana, and, uh, but we went to church in Liberty Town, where my grandmother lived and worked for the priest. Um, and and uh, she actually worked for many of the priests, uh, cleaning the church, uh, taking care of the, the priest and that kind of, uh, of thing. Uh, but anyway, uh, after uh, church, we always gathered in her, in her yard and uh, the extended family, uh, my cousins and nephews, Views, uncles and aunts all met and had um, uh, dinner after church and uh, it was just a, um, a, a tradition that we were so used to that once my grandparents passed away we my mother and father carried on that tradition uh, here and um, and I actually live in the house that um, that I um, moved to when i was five so wow wow that's amazing well i'd love to come see that house someday but tell us about going to lincoln high school and so you graduated in 1960 uh, but it was still in an all-black high school at the point at which you went there right yes yes uh, uh interestingly enough um while schools um desegregated in 58 in frederick um what they did was um uh, a, n a number of black students went to Frederick High, which was a white school. Um, so uh, that was in 58. Um, but Lincoln High School remained um, uh, segregated uh, until 1962, which was the last graduating class. So um, um, I, I always say that that was um, a wasted opportunity because I think had we uh had we had we integrated in in in, in a, the full sense of the word i think that we would have been much farther ahead um uh than we are today so um it yeah. was just a wasted opportunity in that in that um because and, and there and were whole generations of frederick county people who had no experience of being in a you know mixed uh, integrated community correct, correct and 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 actually lincoln was the only high school that African Americans could go to in Frederick County, the only one. So, yeah. uh, so, so many of the um, uh, many of the enclaves uh, around Frederick County had uh, churches and school, elementary schools, and then they were bused into Lincoln to go to high school. 
All right. So, and I know you've remained active. You've been the vice president. You've been the president of the Alumni Association. You've really kept that community going in a lot of ways, and we want to salute you for that. But what we're really here to salute you about is ARCH, which is the African American Resources Cultural Heritage Society of Frederick County. Um, and you have a, a remarkable project to create an African American Heritage Center uh, in Frederick. Tell us about that and about uh, the recent breakthroughs you've had in terms of organizing. Well, uh, again, I, I have to say that um, we, we have, we've been in existence since uh, 2001, and um, um, the, the, the dream of the Heritage Center was um, um, one of our uh, teachers, actually, uh, Mr. William O. Lee, who was also an uh, um, um, alderman for eight years. He taught, uh, he taught school for 29 years, uh, both as a teacher and a principal. But um, anyway, he, his, his dream was to uh, have a, a heritage center that um, focused on African-American stories and, Af and the African-American culture. Within um, the county? Yes, within the county. Um, and uh, um, so he, he certainly had a, a large collection of, of uh, things that he had saved uh, uh, during his uh, alderman days, his teaching days. And uh, um, he, so he wanted he wanted the story to be told um, uh, by the people who lived it, and and I think that um, we have we have uh, held true to that concept in that um, we we oftentimes concentrate. Uh, at least I know that uh, uh, many organizations will come contact us in February and they want to talk about uh, African-American history. Uh, and um, I, I often wonder if uh, people know that there are people who have done things other than uh, Martin Luther King, uh, Harriet Tubman, and Frederick Douglass. I, that we, we always concentrate on, on, on those iconic figures when there are plenty of people who made things happen on a local level and I, I and and that's what we like to concentrate on uh, so we have a number of people who we um, um we have a program actually that's called held in regards where we talk about these different folks and and, and their accomplishments so uh, and of course that that was really the anchor of the civil rights movement wasn't it all of the local action that was taking place through traditional groups like the NAACP, as well as SNCC and CORE and SCLC, but the local organizing, and there are all of these heroes, the, the kinds of people you're talking about who served on the local boards of education, who served on the county uh, commissions, who struggled to make life better at the local level. A absolutely, and, and we, have, we have a number of those, those folks here, Mr. Lee, happened to be one of them, um, Mr. Lord Nickens, who was the president of the NAACP, and um, Stephen Gordon. Uh, we have a, a whole host of people who uh, certainly uh, played a, a major part in, in those, those issues. All right, well, before we break, give us a vision of what the Heritage Center will be like when we actually get to go there, because I understand that it's actually a place now, right? Yes, actually, the, the city of Frederick, um, um, like I said, we, we started out as an all-volunteer group, and, and what we did in the past was we, we just um, put together different uh, uh, um, displays and, and uh, presentations, and we just took them out to the community or wherever we could, uh, we could uh, present, churches, uh, uh, schools, organizations, and, and, that, and, and then we partnered with uh, uh, different other organizations to, um, to carry that to the carry that on and uh, so we we concentrate very much so on having it to be a community vent, venture venture uh, uh, so um, uh, at, so the city so the city did uh, uh, provide a, a place for us at, at 125 East Los Angeles Street which uh, is a perfect location because um, one block away is uh, West All Saint Street, which was the hub of the African American community uh, during segregation. So um, 
um, now that we have had the, the place, uh, we're um, working with, um, 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 we're, we're working on getting grants. Uh, uh, we actually estimate the, um, the design and, and um, uh, construction of it will cost uh, a million and a half or a million two. Uh, and um, um, we're, we actually have two um, architects who um, are volunteering to uh, work with us uh, uh, pro bono, um, which is great. Um, um, That's awesome. It is. But wait, it David, is. tell me. To tell me what kinds of things we'll see when we go there. Will we see pictures from the old yes. days? We'll see. Yes, yes, you will. Um, we we have we we have a number of, of uh, we we want to concentrate um, a, a lot on All Saints Street, which um, again I, I said was the hub of the African American community. We we have um, and 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 on that on that street, you know, every every possible need that the African Americans had was on that street. Barbershop, beauty parlors, hospital, uh, churches, uh, stores, you name it. And, and that's, that's because um, uh, all, all of the stores weren't open to African Americans in Frederick at that time. So, uh, so we um, actually have uh, one of the uh, barber chairs of of the old barbershop um, uh, and actually a, a, a neat story about that is that chair is the very chair that I used to get my hair cut when I was a kid oh, wow. and the, so uh, um, uh, but um, but yeah the, um, the, 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 the then we then we, we have um, uh, things like uh, the, the, the we were just uh, given a uh, um, a gift from the Pitney Castle, uh, uh, which at one time or another, uh, uh, during during the those days, um, people like um, Ike and Tina Turner and um, Otis Redding uh, came to 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 that um, location to um, to perform uh, on their way to huh. other larger places. So, um, but anyway, the Pitney Castle, um, uh, we we just got got um a gift from them uh one is a the a, a voting box uh which which is uh interesting and um um then we we um also also got um old signs um and and uh just just things from from the the, the 20s that is really interesting uh to uh, to see and and uh also also um um we 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 talk about uh, the the old the old uh, churches, uh, uh, schools, all of those things. It, 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 and we try try to, to to do it in a way where you're you're actually able to see the um, the disparity in in, in the, the buildings and and um, and I think that in seeing those things, you get a better idea of why mm -hmm. it's so important that we. Um, um, it, it gives a it gives a, a, a better look in, into why that difference is still there. So uh, the 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 uh, ramifications of, of um, segregation has left a, a, a mark. Although we have uh, again we've uh, proceeded or, or we've 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 proceeded a, a lot for sure, but we do have that way to go. Well, David, this is uh, beautifully moving. A uh, way for us to help celebrate uh, African American History Month, uh, and I, I love the fact that it's all happening locally, and you're bringing this extraordinary history alive. It's a, a history of a lot of pain and a lot of oppression, but a lot of hope and a lot of promise too. And uh, so, I just want to thank you for what you've done. Uh, for that, uh, you are our local hero. You and Arch. And I know that you always want to bring in everybody else who's helping. It's been a community effort, uh, but we really do salute you. We praise you and we commend you for what you've done. Thank you very much. I uh, really appreciate it. Thank you. And we can't wait to see it. Okay. <laughs>